I, I lean over the side and say, I think we made a mistake. There's no stairs. Just... Uh... All right, we're done here, guys. <laughs> I think we've been foiled. No, we're so close. All we had to do... Okay, are there any rocks up on the roof that you can make a double of rock meats out of and then go down holding the rocks and leave the real rock meats up there? I look around for rocks. <laughs> it's you. Uh, there are no rocks up on the roof. It's okay. A, it's a metal. Kept very clean. This is, this is part of the uh, roof guard's duties. Okay, that's wait, my plan. Wait, wait, wait. If he's stuck up here, he's probably hot. I mean, he's on a metal roof. Yep. We could probably just say, listen, guy, come down for a second. We'll get you some lemonade. <laughs> I, no! I, by the way, Everybody. I'm, I'm imagining you yelling this up to rock meets. Rock While meets, I we're gonna trick this guy with your concern, uh, Mr. Larry Cola understands the uh, challenges of this particular position and has ensured, and he sort of pulls out a flask from his pocket, that I am kept properly hydrated. Hey, wait well, a minute. Do you like, wait, 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 wait. Do you like apples? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, do you like apples? Do you like apples? Apples are five. Get up, Scott. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna run back to the other town. Grab some no, scuffle. no, you bought you bought a keg and you drank barely any of it. You have. <laughs> yeah, that was you just have, that. Yeah. You have. We should have planned ahead. You have most of a keg of apple juice in your. Hey, inventory. is he the only guard on the roof? Well, he's the only guard you see on the roof. Kill him. There's no. Entrance. I mean, knock him out. There's no. I, I, I'm sorry, slip of the tongue, knock him out. There's no entrances on the sword. Why is yeah, he even guarding it? Probably for people like us. Uh, I, I, I well, once we knock him out, Rock meets can go through the smokestack because he doesn't need to breathe, so it's all not right, like all right. bothered while, by the smoke. While the guard is talking to Rock meets, Pala tries to knock him out from behind. Okay. Uh, is that an is... attack? Oh my gosh. This is all gonna go wrong. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go back to town and get some scumble and pour okay, it on Okay, the, so uh, the 18 moves. hits. Is 5 damage enough to knock him out? Probably no. not. It is, is enough, it enough to piss him off, though. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, that's close, though. So you just oh. gotta... Kate, okay, your plan isn't working so good! <laughs> what did you guys do now? Come on. Look, uh, Palo backs away. <laughs> look, I've read a lot of books about strategies. But... <laughs> All right, does a 26 hit? Oh hit my god. Oh, Jesus, yes, it does. <laughs> okay, uh, fortunately, he's, uh, he's sort of, he, as a guard, is trained to deal with these sorts of situations. He merely grabs your wrist and holds you up by it. Uh, um, she's very small, says, so. I'm climbing the smokestack. <laughs> While I appreciate. <laughs> Your enthusiasm, I must once again suggest that you leave the premises until the appointed inspection time. All right. Uh, uh, am I being the smokestack before he turns around? <laughs> All right. There is a metal grate fitted over the top of the smokestack. <laughs> also, it's very hot. Uh, well, he is a rock. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I don't have any... Yeah. Also, fair, yeah, I guess if you had to breathe, you'd, you'd be getting messed up pretty bad by now. Yeah, but fortunately, don't you don't. Um, is it openable? Is there a screwdriver in your finger? <laughs> no. Um, well, it's openable in the sense that most metal grates are ultimately openable. I, I assume it's, like, fused to the metal smokestack. Uh, yeah, that's Pal basically what I'm asking. Palace sees rock meets climbing up in the background and tries to distract the guard further. I'm not, I'm not, uh, your accent makes it a little difficult to understand. I mean, when did you want me to come back again? I'm sorry, I'm confused. Nine o'clock. Show. Sure. And I Nine. suggest tell your friend to cease his investigation until the appointed time as well. Uh, All right, guys. Go, I... Wait. I, can I talk to Kit for a second? <sighs> What's up? I mean, clearly we're not getting into this fucking building. I hate these guys. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. But you know what? There's only so much you can do to destroy incriminating evidence. We can probably find it once they hide it. Uh, it just means we'll have to look harder. Okay, let's go interview the mayor. I shout out, are we leaving now? Yeah, guys, you're done here. 
Good uh, job. Okay. I mean, there's no way they're letting us in tomorrow. <laughs> good team, good team effort. <laughs> good job. No, no, kids said tomorrow nine. They said. We I come know, back. I know. Everybody I pack think... it in. Everybody pack it in. Let's get some orange slices and some down. Gatorade, and we'll be fine. All right, all right, pal, get on my back. I'm climbing back down. Does the guard put Pala down yet? Yes. All right. Yeah, she climbs onto Rocky's head. And I climb down using the handholds I made earlier. Okay, you're playing. You're playing. This first plan, not so good. So but nice. this always worked in books. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, you're I, out of plan where we go question the guy and I get to eat cake. I'm that gonna mess that plan. up too. Guys, no, no. guys, I know how to get in. How? Uh, the clock. Okay, Rock needs. <laughs> you're right. The clock is the answer. Let's go back to town and investigate the clock some more. Uh, yes. <laughs> How? I'm so sure it was gonna work. <laughs> I've got faith in my student. Come on, Rock Meets. All right, back to town. Back to town. We might end up going to bed soon. <laughs> Kit is sighing. Um, back to Eret. Don't worry, Kit. My plans rarely uh, you work. You see that uh, Kevin John and his coterie have set up a small camp out, barely outside the walls of the town, and the guard is keeping a careful eye on them. And they also seem to be keeping a careful eye on the guard. Listen. Uh, other than that. Uh, of business as usual has resumed in the town. Um, there are people, you know, walking around between the shops. Um, you know, it'll be busier once uh, work at the factory gets out because, as I said, many of the town citizens work there. Uh, but those that work in in town, or um, you know, they're all going about their usual business. Um, you know satisfied with how the mayor has handled the situation thus far. Yeah, good job, Mayor. You're really on, on the ball with this whole situation. <sighs> <laughs> Kit sighs. So unbecoming of a noble mind to have such plans foiled so easily. Well, I mean, your plan was to climb inside a smokestack in a metal building that's on fire. <sighs> Kit, I thought it was a good plan. I was gonna it was a pretty it. good plan. Unfortunately, you weren't the first people to try it. <laughs> Other rock people have broken in. Oh. <laughs> they don't actually need a smokestack. They just keep one on fire specifically to foil in attempts to get well, in. We wouldn't even have tried the plan if they hadn't. Oh. <laughs> Let's just interview the mayor and be done with it. Interview the mayor, go to bed. Grill the mayor to see whether it is this Larry Cola fellow or the mayor who is to blame for these automatons. Mayor! Whether... mayor. You can't just yell for mayor. Mayor! Uh, the, the mayor is uh, mayor. in his office, which is actually in uh, this part of town, but you can go there and uh, visit his office if you'd like. Which part of town was that? Uh down here, the southeast part of town that has offices, workplaces, as well as a fancy restaurant. Yo, Mayor! <sighs> let's, <laughs> let's go inside instead of standing outside Mayor. and screaming, Joseph. Mayor. Joey, I like your approach to situations. I am going to head inside. Mayor. Uh, as you enter the mayor's office, you are greeted by the uh, mayor's attendant. Says, ah, yes, the uh, the investigators. Thank you very much for uh, working for, on behalf of our our town in this situation. Mm, we'll see. Please, no sinister. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, yes, we'd like to speak with the mayor. Let's see. Let's see. And uh, on what 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 would you uh, need to speak with him about exactly? The purpose of the factory that seems to employ ah, eighty yes, percent yes, of the port. Ah, yes, yes. manufacturer. Yes. Uh, well, I don't like well. This. Uh, actually, actually, it looks like uh, you're you're. In, this is a good, very good lock. His his schedule is open for the next hour and a half. Doesn't have any meetings scheduled, so he, he as long as he's uh, agreeable to it, he'll be able to meet with you. Oh know. yeah, you mean? And he sort of turns around and says, "Mr. Mayor." <laughs> 
Oh yeah, you mean the puppet mayor who's not actually in control of anything in this town because Laracola's running it is bu isn't Joseph. busy. Oh yeah. Master mayor! I'm shocked. The investigators want to talk to you about the factory. <laughs> and like the the paintings on the wall sort of shake when they're shouting. Yeah, I can see why they hired this guy. <laughs> and then you hear just uh, someone stamping their foot in the in the room behind. The mayor will see you now. <laughs> yeah, these guys are kind of. And uh, he opens the door to, to let you into the the mayor's uh, personal office. <sighs> All right. Hello, Mister Mayor. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Why don't you tell us all about the factory? Because they denied our entry this afternoon. Our peaceable entry. <laughs> Where nothing at all happened that was askew. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Mr. Mr. Larry Cola is, uh... Um, I may have lost... What's the, what's the most polite way to say it? Mr. Larry Cola in his dealings in business is very, how you say, cautious. However... He has uh, willfully and fully complied with all regulations that our town has voted into place uh, for his industries to obey and follow. How's your evil golem regulation coming along, uh, then? Jo Joseph, please. <laughs> if, uh, what? What exactly? What, is this? what exactly is his factory here for? Uh, well, um, originally it was for simply metallurgical practices of all times. However, as our town has expanded. We voted upon and passed a measure to uh, increase our town guard capacity with the addition of some, uh, what did he call them? Clay constructs. I see. So he, yes, he, yes, he's, he's been at it for quite a while, and we're hoping to have the, uh, the first batch of them ready for field testing very soon. This very good news. It will allow our city to expand safely. We were having an open town meeting about, uh, you know, some citizens were concerned about the availability of guards in certain situations, saying that our town has grown too large for a small guard force. And at first we simply attempted to increase recruitment in other ways, but none of them seemed to work, and we were at the end of our rope when Mr. Larry Cola made his proposition to us. It passed by a wide margin. I see. It passed by a wide margin in a town where most of the people work for Mr. Ludic Mr. Larry Cola. <laughs> <laughs> well, it passed by a... It wasn't just his own employees voting for it. I, it was quite a landslide. I think it was 80% for... 15% abstain, 5% against. You know what? I think I heard people. somewhere 80% of the people work for Mr. Larry Cola. I think I heard that somewhere from somebody. If you'd like, I can check over our official records of employment and give you the latest official statistics on that. Listen. Billy? <laughs> no, it's Billy? fine. <laughs> Listen, it's cool. Billy, bring me the employment dude. statistics from the dude, last dude. census. Dude, dude, dude. Bro, dude. Billy? Dude. <laughs> Bro, dude. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I don't actually care. Don't you say it. <laughs> Billy? Ah! <laughs> this guy. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you for your time, Mr. Mayor. Uh, is there anything else that you are concerned about? I am a little concerned about that. Uh, what was his name? Kevin of John. Right. He just marches up and says that he has to own the place now because of what the Von Balian Emperor says. But we're an officially recognized independent township. They have no jurisdiction here. <laughs> Excuse me. Please they have no don't slobber. They have no what? <laughs> jurisdiction. <laughs> One more time. I, 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 speak, quite... I speak goblin. He 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 says they don't have a river. Oh, here. okay, gotcha. Uh, I mean, we can always dig one out if you want. It doesn't seem very uh, like a very. Well, I suppose you could talk to our uh, heads of agriculture. They're 
Usually, we're I don't think good. that'll be necessary. Thank you. I think it'd be no. This would be a really good twist to this campaign if we just gave up and decided to become irrigationists. <laughs> Instead of that happening, I could use a few good city planners on my staff. Instead of Ooh, that, that happening, sounds exciting. do you know why he came into your town, this Kevin Johns? Did you get that, or were you just, like, yelling at each other the whole time? Mr. Kevin John claims that we've been sending uh, their clay constructs to attack attack skirmish, but that's nonsense. First of all, do you, do, hang on, none hang of on, the hang constructs on. have been finished yet. Well, wait, what? Well, I, I get weekly inspections of the factory myself from Mr. Larry Cola as the official commissioner of the project, and he's been making good progress, but uh, based on the timetable he's given me, it'll be another two and a half weeks at least before any of them are even ready for initial field testing. I mean, that's cool and all, but we've heard reports that some of your his workers are covered in clay at the end of the day. So if they're not making constructs already, what are they doing? Well, they're making them for sure, but that's a time-consuming process. You don't just, like, slap some clay together and, like, oh, no, magic I, it up? I observe. You know, I think constructs boxes. are a little bit more complicated than that. What and gives I you authority to talk on it's constructs, a, It's an <laughs> intricate, multi-step process that requires workers with many different fields of expertise, but I'm sure when you go and inspect tomorrow, you'll learn all about that. You don't need to hear it. Did we tell the mayor? Did we tell the yes, mayor about Yes, we did. It? Okay. <laughs> uh, mayor... You do understand why a place that's making clay golems would be under suspicion for clay golem attacks. Well, suspicion, sure, but he can't march in and declare martial law. No, that's... I understand also... the suspicion, and that's why I agreed to your investigation. That's reasonable, I guess. They wouldn't let me through the smokestack. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that... Mr. Larry Cola runs... A, t a tight ship, but he did schedule an inspection with you, did he not? Technically, <laughs> I mean, he he inspect he scheduled an inspection that he's expecting now. So if there's any evil afoot, you know, he's gonna hide it, presumably. So what exactly did you see when you take your inspections? Do you see un incomplete constructs just lying around? Well, he took me through the whole. Uh... So, as well as he's still working on his uh, state mandated metallurgy projects, but he's most of the workforce is on the clay construct program in question. Uh, he guided me through the whole the whole process from raw materials to um, initial shaping to detailed shaping to the somewhat more uh, admittedly mysterious processes by which the constructs are animated and uh, given. Uh, initial instructions. So he walked you through that process, but he still says it'll take another two weeks for any to be completed through that process. Well, yes, yes. Billy. Oh, I thought we were singing. <laughs> I thought we were singing too. I was having a good time. Hey, 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 hey! Here's a question. Ah. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Do what you want with my body. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not it. Rock meets. That's not it. Here's the question: Who would have any reason to go mess up that guard post? The one in question. It's talking about um, skirmish. It's a guard post. It's I like know. Barely a town. I know. Well, we, ha we haven't had any trouble with them before, and as far as I know, they haven't been trying to cause any trouble with us. Mm. No, there's not much trade between the two towns, them being an official outpost of the Empire and us being independent, self-sustaining township. So there's really more reason for the Empire to try and gain control over this independent township than there is this independent township to mildly harass that guard post, is what you're saying. Well, then... That is, that is very much uh, very similar to how, how I see things. I think this is 
of thinly veiled act of aggression. Well, they won't pull one over on us. What's that term when, like, there's a third guy making two guys fight? Uh, Larry Cola? Yeah, a that's it. Good, this is good this is clearly playing against the Larry Cola. Oh. Let's adjourn. <laughs> Let's adjourn. Then I suppose that's what your investigation will uncover if that is the case. It did cross my mind as unfortunate as it would be if our town's longtime industrial leader turned out to be meddling in such affairs. Yeah. Uh, however, however, I believe that finding the truth will bring peace to our town. Fair enough. I, I guess. Unless we have to, like, raise the town or something because you're all evil. <laughs> there we is... can raise the town? I no. mean, if they're evil. Raise it to what, though? I mean, There's the evil. clock tower's pretty high up already. No, I mean, Where's like... the evil? The evil? Thank you for your time, Mayor. <laughs> we'll be leaving now. You all have a pleasant evening. I... Oh, it's evening already, or time is a-wasting? It's evening already, it's time to go. Okay, was there... is there anybody... There were other people in this war party, or war party, in this adventuring band than us, right? Yeah, there was... well, there was, um... Kevin they... John's usual retinue of Andy Elliott and Elise. Lurch and the... And Are then there... there was Molly and Molly, who they had also hired. Lurch and the Mar... <laughs> Lurch and the Marley Okay, let's, let's go talk to the Marleys and see if uh, Larry Cola has any relation to the outpost of Skirmish. Alright, you want to go talk to the Marleys? Yeah. Okay, so you go a little bit outside of town. And go up to, uh, to where they're all just sort of basically sitting around a campfire. Hey, Marley. Guys. Hey there. Uh, what do you think? How are you all doing? Here? What do you I... think of this whole affair? Well, honestly, I don't know. But we signed on to work for Kevin John. I don't like the idea of signing on and not doing. I see. What do you think, Marley? I don't like this idea of signing on and not doing. Then again, if they didn't tell us what we were signing on for, we didn't really sign on then, did we? No, I guess not, Marley. It's sort of a disinformationalizing sort of signing on. We signed on for something else. And as long as we do that something else, we don't have to do any new thing. This is my, my first true. job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> End of statement. <laughs> <laughs> How it pats rock. Have you ever... Me and Marley, we've been together for years. Oh, Marley and me? I love that movie. <laughs> Marley, have you ever heard of a person named Larry Cola? I think, I think Kevin was... John mentioned him. Uh, I just heard him mumble. I didn't quite hear the conversation, but I overheard a bit. I think he said that I was someone's name. <laughs> when did he say this? Well, I think it was... Uh... When we were walking up here. Interesting. So he pre-knew about Larry Cola. Larry Cola. I, I suppose he did. I, I mean, I have no idea who the guy is. Mr. Larry Cola is the man who owns the giant factory outside of town. That is oh, that, that big place with the smokestacks? The one that is purported... That's Larry Cola's? In the clay constructs, yes. Ah. Uh. So, so he's the one who's been sending the attacks. That could be. Well, if, I mean, if Mr. Kevin knew about this ahead of time, that places him in quite a lot of suspicion. That's true, but it might also just be that you know uh, the Imperial types—they know about this area and probably have been keeping tabs on it for a while. And they figure they ought to tell him about what he's getting into before they send him. Maybe so, but if that was the case, then wouldn't they have just sent Mr. Kevin over to the factory directly to cease the production of clay constructs rather instead, than to this town? Instead of to take over the town, yeah. By force? Hmm. I guess he figures that if they, he can take control of the workers, factory's no good anymore. Hmm. We have also heard reports that the workers have been acting oddly. So I suspect this Larry Cola, and I suspect this Mr. Kevin. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Wait, what if we give the factory to the workers? What? So that they, uh, no, I don't like that as a noble person. No, whatever. Well, I just, I just think capitalism is a dead end. Wait, 
You expect to allow the proletariat to be in charge of their own devices? Probably Give the workers the means of production? That's a thought. <laughs> Oh um, no, you've just started a revolution. <laughs> Again? What do you think about that, Marley? Well, I mean, we're the ones who do all the heavy lifting. We should we should own the stuff what gets lifted. Mm. Now let me tell you about flat taxes. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you about the gold standard. Oh wait, everybody lately. uses it already. It's D&D. Womp <laughs> well, womp. Well. Um. well. We got some info out of the Morleys. Maybe we should go talk to Kevin and be like, oh, uh, Yeah, you looks like you were right all along. It's, uh, it's why don't you tell us all about your future plans. <laughs> I'm going to be in control of this town uh, through my evil, nefarious means that I have constructed. Yes, that would be the ideal. <laughs> but let's see what happens. That sounds like a really good plan. You keep coming up with really good plans. I have to make up for earlier. <laughs> <laughs> like... I, I I was more approving of the plan where I climbed into a smokestack, but like this is second to that. Well, thank you. So considering that one didn't work, I don't have the greatest <laughs> feeling that this one will go work. Go sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> having go, having okay. been on the front lines of your previous, it's getting it's plan. getting it's getting late. Let's go speak to Kevin. Let's all right, go. you want to you want to talk to Kevin John? Yes, Kevin John. Kevin John. Right, hey, uh, Kevin John. Uh, what's up with your two first names? <laughs> well, Rogmeets, Rogmeets, get away from the clock. Yeah, Hooves nope. is a very popular Minotaur first name. <laughs> I can get in the smokestack. I know it. No, no, just <laughs> wait till later. Wait till later. Okay. They'll get mad at us again because they're rude. Hey, little buddy. Who's uh? Who's the little buddy? <laughs> no, in yeah, this case, it's rock me. Okay, uh, it's, the same, it's the same. It's the same guard from around the clock tower as before. Oh, oh. Is, he, is he the one with the ultra hand? They probably like him now. Yeah, he he still has his ultra hand, and he sort I, of I, I brandishes it playfully. And walk away slowly. <laughs> God, the ultra. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Your little scamp. Where's that, Kevin John? Uh, Kevin John oh. is in his official imperial tent outside of town. Okay, let's go knock on the tent. I'm sorry. I knock the tent over. No. I the knock um, on the tent. As you walk by, for the 21. Um, overall, Zandy stops you. Oh. oh. And he says, If you want to speak with Sir Kevin John. Don't say it. You need to wait until he's done eating. Oh. <sighs> How long does he usually. But then, from eat? inside the tent. You hear, you hear a voice. Andy, who was who that? He says, oh, Sir Kevin John, it's those uh, adventurers you hired. We're investigators. <laughs> We're the investigation team. And uh, uh, Kevin John invites you in oh. to, to his uh, nice little tent. We're investigators. Yeah, we sure are. Please, please, <laughs> come in, come in. What, what kind of what, he's eating? What kind of food does he have? Uh, he had what looks like a very nice steak, baked potato, some steamed. What? Broccoli. Where'd he get steak? Hey, when's the okay. when's the shift change at the factory? For, for the <laughs> bullshit. He is eating something much more. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When's the shift change at the factory? Uh, the baked potato is topped with sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is. Uh... It looks like some kind of. <laughs> I don't. I, okay, <laughs> Kit has maybe smelled this cheese before, but none of the rest of you have. I don't care about the cheese. <laughs> very honest with you. <laughs> when the block broccoli floret. This this tent is near the town gates, so I presume that when the workers return to town, we will see them, and when we do, we are going to go out and observe them to see if they have been brainwashed with. Tamp with. Tamp with. Okay, that yeah, I mean, you can definitely wait for that. Uh, the Until that happens, we'll keep talking to kids. No, if you just ask any guard, they'll tell you that the, the factory closes up for the day at five in the evening and that, you know, everyone just sort of walks home after that and so they're back pretty quick. Yeah. Are their eyes glowing any kind of mysterious color when they walk? What? Ah, you know, some of them just 
head home. Some head to, uh, you know, do a little shopping, get something to eat. Any- uh, usually they're just sort of exhausted from work. Let's- Can't blame them for a late hour day. Let's talk to Kevin for now. All right, talking to Kevin. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> Hello. So, hi. So <laughs> I was uh, I was wondering. Um, um, you were you told us that you came here to uh, stop the clay uh, constructs from uh, invading skirmish, correct? We came here to cease uh, the attack being performed by this town via the clay constructs. Okay, so your primary concern was the town itself and not the clay constructs. That's their weapon. I Is see. it not? And it doesn't concern you at all that the mayor seemed to have no knowledge of this weapon whatsoever. Of course, he's not going to be willing to discuss it. It would be how, far too uh, self-incriminating. How long have you been a, a man, an officer, let's say? Have Eight you, years. Do you have confidence in your ability to smell a liar? course did the mayor smell like a liar yes Mm. not direct lies of course but lies of omission it's not giving me complete answers it was leaving out key facts do you know anything about how the clay constructs are being well constructed because we've been about all day and come up with nothing although i uh, do not i'm not knowledgeable about the specifics of magical construct fabrication Um, when I was briefed about these events I was informed of a factory new by this town uh, that is more than likely the source of the clay constructs I see Uh, that's pretty much all I had to ask him does anybody else want to turn what's up with your names what do you got two (laughs) first names what? You got two first names, Kevin and John. He's got a point. You are a first names all the way down. You got, like, no even middle name. You got a first name and then a first name and nothing. What's <laughs> up with that? Sorry, what are we talking... I, I zoned out. I'm sorry. What are we talking about? We're talking... For- what- first names. First names. Oh, okay. Kevin? It's okay, Rocky. It's, don't worry about it. And then John. Kevin was given to me by my parents. And in my service to the Empire, the name John was given to me for my for my feats of bravery and heroism. What is that? Does that I've got to consider you're both hiding. names equally important. Are you I've hiding got feats. four names? No, I've got feats. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes. Good job. I see them right there on the end of your legs. <laughs> Are you guys going to call me Rock Meets John? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rock meets John. I mean, we can call you if that's the name that you want. I mean, we no, can talk. I, I, I'm asked. I, I don't know. Kevin like... is growing a little. Kevin John is growing a little tired. Of... I fucked up and just said Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, John... <laughs> Kevin John is growing uh, somewhat tired of this uh, ancillary discussion. And uh, is that uh, all you wish to ask me? Wait, for now. wait, you ever try Scumble? Scumble? Yes, I have tried it on occasion. But on the whole, I find it advisable to remain, how you say, sober during missions. Oh, you just got a whole lot lamer, buddy. This is clearly not a party. You just got a whole lot less effective. What? 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 And he waves you out of the tent. And, uh, Andy okay, comes. I guess that made sense to him. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, hey, I guess he just thought he burned me on the way out. I'm just kind of oh, like... No, hey. he totally did. Oh, okay. Paging Doctor at Snap that. at the burn ward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, your battle efficiency is quite lower than the standard <laughs> <laughs> recruits should be. You've activated my trap card. <laughs> Hang on. That's not right. <laughs> oh, I think that's pretty much right. We're getting interference. We should well, everybody go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, it's time. 
You're calling it now? This is the adventuring day. I'm out of ideas. Okay. I can I'm... go back for the smokestack. I think... No! I think... No. Hey, he doesn't have to sleep anyway, so we might as well try. So, I think... Like... <laughs> yeah, you could do it. But I think for oh. now, this is a good... ending. Aren't you guys glad we recorded this?